Hello and welcome back. I'm Robot Genie and we are here playing Scandinavia in Europe Universalis 4. We're going for the Iron Price Achievement. And uh, we're just waiting here a bit. It looks like our vassals are back to doing what they're supposed to be doing. And ooh, look, more diplomatic tech. I like it. Oh, allows client states an advanced Cassis Belly. What is an advanced Cassis Belly? Oh, I don't know what that is. But I want it. I want it. I don't know what it is, but I want it. So we're almost caught up in Diplotech at this point. Oh no, we lost an accepted culture. That's too bad. We are a victim of our own success. Oh, and we got revolts. People entering into military coalitions against me. Great Britain is no longer an acceptable rival for me. I probably don't have three acceptable rivals anymore. So we cannot be embargoing them anymore. And the piracy is now useless. Well, I mean, it's making me money, so I guess it's not useless. Um, but yeah, okay. Sure. Bohemia again. Well, they're going to be knocked out of being a F acceptable again very soon, but whatever. Sure. <laughs> Bohemia is no longer a valid rival. That did not take long. Okay, that's fine. Who is in this coalition against me? <laughs> Look at that. They all hate me. They all hate me, but no one wants to declare war against me. Let us walk up and prepare to war against Oldenburg. Alright, Oldenburg. I'm going to attack you. So Austria would join, Switzerland, Aragon, yeah, all of those people in the coalition, and then we declare Pomerania as a co-belligerent. That would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? It's going to take forever to integrate um, Muscovy, so I shouldn't take a new uh, person or a new vassal, so like right now or anything. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Pomerania as a cold belligerent isn't really worth it. Oh, I can't even do it. Um, could do the Palpatine. Eh, none of it's really worth it. Oh, it's only. I only have a trade power cast spell against them. Do I have a better cast spell against another one of the coalition members that I could use? Because I can use. I just do whatever cast his belly, and I believe I, because they're all in the coalition, I can, I can well, equally demand things from all of them. Show superiority for cleansing of heresy. Yeah, that is that is what I want. Okay, I can make Milan a co-belligerent. I am going to do that. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Let's reduce speed. Let's uh, go beat up Oldenburg. And uh, yeah, let's let's occupy things. Now I want Oldenburg's provinces in this war, but. Could I dismantle the HRE in this war? So Mainz, is Mainz at war against me? No, I don't see, where Where the hell is Mainz? I guess I could just search it. Where are they? They brought me right here. 
Oh, there's mains. But they're not at war with me. Why? Uh, well... I could declare war against them. Uh, Woosberg. They are also not at war with me. Pomerania, also not at war with me. Milan is at war with me. Hmm. And then, who? Hess? Was Hess one? No, Wurzburg. So, where is Wurzburg? It's Lorraine, that's Trier, this is... This is Wurzburg. Um... Yeah, I mean, so if I start converting their religions as well, that would also get them in trouble. So we'll see. I might declare war against some more people here. Before this is up. Oh! Look at Bohemia's army here. That's gonna be annoying. Let's get my other army down here. Let's get this group to do to defend, uh, what, the Baltic Sea? Is this the Balt? No, this is the North Sea. Yeah, go defend the North Sea. Uh, I need help from this guy right here. And I'm still gonna lose this battle pretty badly. My dad. Wow. I didn't even get to retreat there. Uh, can I put a leader in charge? I can. Need some more leaders here. We need to go and beat up, uh, beat up these armies down here. Oh, is that Hess that's in war against us now? Oh yeah, but we don't care if we're in war with Hess. We want to be at war with Mainz. So let's see, let's use this guy to just carpet siege here. So we'll replace the sieges here with those guys, and then with these guys down here. You know what, to be honest, what we could really do is we could just build a whole nother army using this template up here. So let's do that. We can afford a whole nother army so we can uh, occupy more land. Then we want to take this guy and this guy, bring them back together, and then we'll march around with uh, 36 stacks and try to help France over here. Oh, Castile is in this. I think I knew that. Okay, we uh, stack wiped them there. That's nice. It looks like uh, Hess is going up towards my army over here, so I should probably go deal with that. Just keep these stacks together. Oh, he stack wiped me before I could do anything. Quick to stack with me, only 13 against 9. But I guess it is what it is. Uh, how are we towards our force limit? I could. I'm gonna build even another. another one of these templates. Oh, I don't have enough money. That makes sense. Where are they running to? Oh, good. Run as far as you can go. Oh, the religion of Gotland changes to Catholic. Well, we're gonna have to convert you back. Make sure all these armies get defeated here. Are we showing superiority yet? No. We lost a bunch of battles. Alright. Oh, 
looks like we got control of France's land again. We should probably go beat up Bohemia because they're pretty strong. And in the meantime, I can probably start carpet sieging over here. I could potentially lose some men in this, but I'll go by faster, that's for sure. Let's bring all these guys down over here. We're going to have more carpet sieging stacks over here soon. Oh yeah, we still are coring things. I'm in constant war mode. Otherwise, all the coalitions will align against me permanently. And it'll be really annoying. Oh. That's a big group of Austrians. I'm gonna have to go defend my own troops over here. Oh look, they split up. That was nice of them to split up. Let's go attack them over here. Let's continue the full siege of these provinces with all of these men. sooner we get a big occupation, the better. Alright, we still gotta go around and crush a bunch of stacks of enemies. Oh, look at this Austrian stack trying to run away. Let's go kill them. What'd the Holy Roman Emperor do? They did something. They got a bunch of power. Just gonna erode their power base by converting people over to our religion. I don't have anyone, anyone to give the elector to. No one to give the elector to. Get back here. Oh, the USA. Wow, the USA is pretty big. We got the USA and the 13 colonies here. So we got both of them. That is, uh, that's different. stacks. Crushing stacks and sieging out our enemies. Almost all these guys are part of the coalition. It's always nice to kick people out of these wars, so... When we full occupy all these guys over here, they can't reproduce troops anymore. And that is helpful. So Switzerland is also against us, even though we gave you land last time, Switzerland. Uh, we gave you Austria's land, but you seem to have forgotten about that. We could have been friends. 
instead you decide to be enemies. Oh, let's uh let's occupy uh, Cologne. They're only um, they're only a one province minor, so we can get them pretty easy. Yeah, this is uh so it's wreaking a little bit more havoc on the uh, German states than the religious wars did. This is, they didn't involve me in the religious wars. I'm still pretty sore about that. So it's Protestantism all the way. We're we're making them pay for not including me. Oh, what can I buy here? Uh, we can buy military tech way ahead of time. And just wait. Can I build any interesting buildings? Yearly legitimacy, yearly prestige is okay. Yearly prestige is pretty good. Ah, uh, because it lowers prestige decay. Which makes it nice. Alright. Um, okay, all this is looking uh, good. Great Britain has a lot of troops over here. They want to win the next time we go to war. Yeah, they, but they don't have more troops than me over there. And tr our truce with them ends in ten years, so there's still quite some time before we can uh, we can go beat them up again. But they're not going to be getting back any of their uh, their core provinces in that time, or or ever. We are... Bohemia is definitely getting sieged out here. Oldenburg is getting sieged out. Hess is basically already sieged out. Yep, we're going to be starting on Austria soon here. France has already started on them. Oh, there's a lot of random people down in France's territory. Ah, oh, it looks like there's a big Austrian stack that still exists. Let's go take that off. Let's get over here and start occupying Austria's territory. How much war score from battles do we have? We actually got 40 war score from battles. We haven't shown them superiority yet, but we uh, we have 40 war score for battles. So I would say that's pretty good. They still have um, like 75% of the units that we have on the field, but they're not all combined. It's not like a coherent fighting force like we got. We had all of our our troops together and. High morale. Ready to crush crush enemy stacks and all that stuff. Our prestige is through the roof. Oh that's right, I still have to core provinces. Well, that should be the last one. We have no admin power, so that'll be fun. We'll have to give have to punish them some way in this war by giving me tons and tons and tons and tons of war reparations. That's, that's how I'm gonna punish them. Oldenburg is fully occupied. Oh, and I'm going to take note that France wants something in this war. So I'm going to give that to them. I think that would probably be wise. So we can probably 
split siege all over here. These guys as well. I'm surprised our war score isn't better. I mean, I know that we don't have the war goal yet, but probably never going to get it because 80% of the battles is quite a lot when you're fighting this many battles. I mean, in small wars, it's a little bit different, but in a war this size, I feel like it's kind of hard to get 80%. With all your vassals running around, all that. I mean, I guess if I wanted to micromanage it. So what happened there? Oh. Yeah, maybe I should have... Um, my uh, my uh, my stacks together here. Maybe I should recombine. I think I should into a mighty twenty-seven stack. Oh, we can build even more units, can't we? Yeah, let's do that. So let's uh, do another one of these templates. Get them all together in the capital. Sounds good to me. Now what does our local autonomy look like? It looks really good. Really good. It's really low everywhere. So what's our maximum manpower? 238k. Wow. It's going to be even better when we integrate Muscui. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, what's it at? It's at 9.9%. .9%. It's not going super fast, but we waited out the Livonian order. We can wait these guys out as well. Let's go around and crush some of these enemies. Occupied by Bavaria. Bavaria's not in this war on my side, so I don't have to worry about them. invest in new technologies. I'm going to have to do that soon, regardless of whether I'm ahead or not. Although, 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 we can build military buildings for manpower. And I do like myself some manpower. So let's make sure that we got more of this manpower stuff. Russian is an accepted culture, so it gives us good manpower, although it probably won't be accepted forever. Whatever. Get some extra manpower from those buildings. That sounds uh, good. Uh, we still don't have the show superiority goal. Things are definitely looking better. Better by the day, better by the day. Oh yeah, even even Castile's getting occupied at this point. Oh yeah, and then there's Brittany. <laughs> the war exhaustion of all these guys is insane. Oldenburg's already at 20. We haven't even occupied Austria's capital yet. I mean, whatever. This war can go on for some time, considering we, all we want to do is go to war with England in uh, 1691 and uh, not have to fight all these guys as well. Um, so we're just going to make a terrible peace, like take a lot of stuff from them. So, so they really, really, really hate me for it. And we can separate peace out Austria again, so we're going to steal some stuff from them. Yeah, totally. We're going to totally steal some stuff from them. Make them weak. But 
yeah, anyway, I think that's probably it for this episode. Um, I'm not going to finish this up. Probably take about like 10 more minutes to finish up this war, so uh, that's going to be too long. So yeah, if you're liking this series, make sure to like and or subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Later.